telling the truth. We truly as a nation are at a crossroads. And the, everybody's talking about now, I want peace now. We can get peace now if we want it now. And the left wing talk about giving the power to the people. You know, anybody knows that the people have the power. All we have to do is awaken the power in the people. The people are unaware. It's like they're not educated to realize that they have power. Realize that this is just something very different. And all those pillars clustered together, why would they build them like that? And then the more I looked at it, the more I realized, now inspired by realizing that the stone circles were powerful energy generating devices, suddenly seeing aerial photographs of these temples in Egypt, I realized that they weren't temples, but they were actually templates. That we're actually looking at gigantic energy circuits, circuit boards on a gigantic scale that we could never have imagined. Is that there all right? I was eyewitness to was the subversion of the Constitution. And that's that was when the hair on the back of my neck went up. And so I became a whistleblower. Yeah, so uh, Facebook says, hey, look, no one outside of the company was able to see your passwords. They're, they're still secure. But it seems as though passwords were stored in plain text or clear text, which is unsalted, unencrypted. Right. How the heck is this happening? This is the second time. And it's perfectly north and south. McCord Air Force Base is right down there. This is our information. It is the digital archive of our lives. Texts of our chats with our family. It's the backbone of everything that we care for. Telling me that they can use your ADT security box microphone to to get your stuff that's going on in your house or on star they could shut your car down and he told me that one in five phone calls that you make uh, are recorded and logged and i laughed at him and then he played back a phone conversation i'd had two years prior come on to joining the picture You're saying our problem is civil disobedience. That is not our problem. Our problem is civil obedience. Not one of them has the freedom we're all talking about. So we're saying give peace a chance, you know, like nobody's ever done it before. And it's not a matter of, we're not thinking in terms of 10 years. We're thinking in terms of peace forever, you know. Implications of large-scale economic breakdown inside the United States that would force the army to keep, quote, domestic order among civil unrest. The Alaskan National Guard taking place 
uh, taking a part in an exercise here for civil unrest. Oh, what does the guy have, the demonstrator have? Well, it's a sign that says, food now. Well, why would he need a sign like that? I believe, are being boxed into a corner by people who actually have their hands on the levers of power. And it is those holding the levers of power that have been creating the conditions to make these scenarios possible. What is the difference between, you know, one degree Celsius and three degrees Celsius? We're already seeing the consequences of not having done our homework before, and we're seeing it today. We're seeing it with extreme weather events, a new hurricane, barreling down. La deportiva. Whoa. Huh. Putting putting out drones, man. <laughs> Scouting the area, I guess. Shit. Está meia hora aqui. A gente veio acampar nessa esse mato aqui e a gente tá aqui e olha que tá lá no fundo a gente tá tentando se abrigar em algum lugar aqui tá eu e mais os quatro colegas meu aqui e é estranho ó é uma luz que tá passando lá naquele formato círculo e enfim cara a gente, a gente tentou né acampar aqui nesse bosque aqui na França e de repente a gente ouviu um barulho e veio ver o que era e quando a gente chegou, a gente viu aquela luz ali no fundo. Tá lá, parado já faz uns três minutos ou mais. E cada vez tá ficando mais próximo. A gente vai tentar se abrigar aqui. A gente não sabe o que é, né? É um negócio brilhoso. Eu vou tentar parar um pouco aqui. Ali tem... Ó. Vou tentar parar aqui pra gente tentar dar um zoom aqui. Só que a câmera, sei lá, não ajuda. Estranho, né? Caramba. Tá ali. Deixa eu ver se eu consigo ver de mais de perto. O pessoal tá tentando se abrigar ali. Eles correram pra ali. Aqui. Deixa eu ver aqui. Acho que daqui dá pra ver melhor. Não dá. Não dá pra ver, a câmera não ajuda. Ah, gente. Vou tentar me esconder aqui, pessoal. São dois. So, I decided to give a public talk 
criticizing the lack of an appropriate energy policy. I gave the talk at the University of Iowa. <laughs> Disease X is to capture the ones that perhaps haven't caused epidemics in the past but still could cause an epidemic in the future. We don't know what might cause disease X or what impact it could have on London. This led to calls from the White House to NASA headquarters and I was told that I could not give any talks or speak with the media without prior explicit approval by NASA headquarters. Heading that way, the path is 